Hey everybody, welcome today to our Harmony TV discussion, my Harmony TV discussion. I'm Michelle Aspinwall. I am an age alchemist. I work with women of all ages, but particularly 40 to 50 around hormones, health, aging, integrated biohacking, all the things. All right, today's topic is such an interesting topic. I could literally talk on this topic for the rest of my life. So I wanna to talk to you about my views, my, my unique and particular view, not so unique, but unique in that I think it's not mainstream, my unique views on women's health and how I feel like the medical system gets it all wrong. So welcome today. Today's broadcast is brought to you by, <laughs> sponsored by, um, the free webinar that I did last week called Testing 101, Demystify Your Hormones. So I do this free webinar on all the different ways that women can have their hormones tested. And I have particular favorites, but in this webinar, I go over the different types of, of female hormone testing in particular, men also, but this is unique and specific to women. And I talk about what kind of testing there is, what each test is good for and not good for, and then what I believe every woman over 40 should have over the course of this decade, this magical decade that for many is seen as something happening to them, very unfair. But I tend to think of it as a decade, a decade that is this intersection between science or biology and spirit, a woman's spirit, a woman's biology and a woman's spirit. And is this beautiful intersection that I wanna talk about today. So in my views on the medical system, one thing I think that is really important to understand for women as a woman who is just about to turn 50 in a couple of months, what I have learned over this past decade is a couple of things. Number one, most doctors don't understand this decade as it relates to a woman. So they understand the female hormonal system. They understand, to some extent, they understand what the change, what menopause actually is, but they don't actually understand because, hello, this isn't a medical condition. This is a rite of passage. This is something that every woman who, who gets to live to this age, and for many thousands of years, we didn't live to this age. So, for those of us who get to have and who get to have this experience, who get to age in, in this way, this is a blessing. This is a time of life to sort of clean up the things of the past, get very serious on what's happening right now within your body. This is the, the absolute, absolute intersection. And then to understand that this feeling that feels like your body is failing you is actually an unraveling of sorts. That's how I like to put it was I had this sort of unraveling early in my 40s, and I it helped me to understand not only who I was, who I was, not who I am as a number in this great big medical system that, of ours that we have. I'm not just a number that's placed in with a bunch of other women. I'm a unique vessel of fluid and organs and tissue and energy and light and all the things. I am one unique individual unlike anyone else on the planet. And my unique constitution needs its own set of parameters and rituals and guidelines. And this is what I've learned over the past 10 years is that when a woman actually understands her unique constitution, her unique set of not only genetics, but uh, organ reserve, the way that her body functions, the elements that need more work, the elements that need a little more light and the elements that need a little bit more uh, support. When she understands this, she can then work with her. You can work with your own physiology and it's a beautiful thing. And within this working system, there's also understanding the light and the energy. And this is what I think the great medical system gets it wrong. And I think this is a magnificent time of life, um, not only right now in terms of like this age, this year, 2021, but I also believe that this is a fantastic time in a woman's life. I think that we get to experience what 
what we've been conditioned to experience, what our body is quite literally wired to do and feel. And then we get to experience that unraveling of that feeling. And that unraveling is actually our hormones changing and shifting so that we become less about the collective of the family unit and we become more about ourselves. We get to get more serious with ourselves. We get to go deeper within ourselves and we get to understand what this next phase of life gets to be, gets to look like and what we are meant to do on this planet. So in this realm, this is what I wanna talk about. And in the medical system, in the medical system that I have experienced and gotten to understand is that each doctor is quite studied under one system or one group of organs or one unique element to health. When in reality, we are a system of systems. We are a system of loads and loads of bacteria and virus and microbes, way more than we are ourselves. And that our body, although, that, although our body is constantly changing and constantly becoming something new, we ourselves are always ourselves. So even though our, like the inner wall of our intestinal tract is a new wall, right? It's a completely new system every five to eight days. And even though that our liver regenerates itself and many other areas of our brain cells are constantly, you know, replenishing themselves if you do the work and that our cells are quite literally dying and replicating over and over again, we are still who, who we are. We are still a culmination of our memories, of our thoughts, of our experiences and our perceptions. And so this is what I want to talk about today is how we perceive this stage of life how we perceive our responsibility within this stage of life, how we perceive our responsibility within our own unit, within our own people, and also how we take responsibility for what we get to have going forward beyond 50, beyond 55, beyond 60, beyond 70, because it is a responsibility. It is an aspect of us that we get to, that we should have a very, very direct say in. So. Some of the things that I think are interesting when we, when, we, when we go to the doctor, when we use the medical system in ways that it isn't designed to be used, what ends up happening is we're giving our power away, so to speak, to someone or a group of people that don't actually understand our energy, aren't actually living in our body, and don't understand how we as unique vessels and unique vessels of liquid and tissue and organs and consciousness and our heart and our brain and our thoughts, how we function within this paradigm, right? So what I want to say today is there's an element of the body. Like, do you remember, I don't know if your kids are, were like this, if you've had kids, but I know that my kids used to take things apart. They used to want to understand how things worked by taking them apart. And it was this beautiful beautiful thing of watching my boys literally like take a watch apart or one of my boys took like his entire brake system apart and wanted to understand it. But the reality is, is when, when they took the whole thing apart, they didn't actually know how to get, get it back together. And it didn't, in taking it apart, they may have understood certain workings of that system, but it didn't actually help them understand the thing as a whole. And this is what I think the medical system gets it so wrong when it comes to women's health. Now, in other areas, I think the medical system is miraculous and wonderful. And I think we're quite, you know, we're quite lucky and quite gifted to have what we have. Like if you're in some kind of accident or you need some sort of, you know, quick surgery because you've got some sort of issue or an organist failing or something like that kind of acute care is absolutely incredible. And we're so blessed to have that. But for those of us, for those of us who are women, for those of us who have ever had any kind of like chronic disease, chronic illness, the medical system actually fails us. It fails us profoundly because it doesn't actually take into account how our body is a working energy system and how each system is connected to other systems. And I've talked about the chakra system before many times actually in Harmony TV. So hopefully you're, you're keeping up and watching all the different ep episodes that I create. But in this system, in this, in, in today's Harmony TV, what I really want to focus on is that the female 
hormonal system is not just one system. It's not just the endocrine system. It's actually a series of organs and glands and they begin in, they begin in the brain. So women's health begins in the brain. Now, what that doesn't mean is that we're going crazy. What that does mean is that there are certain functions in the brain and without certain nutrients, without certain um, elements of our life, rituals and practices, then we're not going to have the connections of the brain to the other systems because the brain, of course, through the central nervous system, through hormones, through the messages that the brain sends to these various places, we have to have different nutrients and different reserves in order to power up and in order for those hormones that are connected to proteins within the blood, we need these systems to have support and understanding that there's an energetic support and there's a physiological support. And this is what I work with when it comes to hormone testing, that women are actually not just a series of levels. I'm going to say that again. Women are actually more than just a series of vitamin, mineral, blood, neurotransmitters, all the things. We are so much more than our levels. And this is the part that the medical system gets completely wrong. What we have to do as women is we have to understand a little bit of how our body works, a little bit of the base core minimum, the, the minimum that we need in order for certain areas of the body to function. And when we understand that, then we can understand why we have certain symptoms that we have. And all of this is so much more better understood when you do specialized testing. Now, it's unfortunate that specialized hormone testing isn't just a regular and customary aspect of women's health, that in order to get specialized testing, you have to go outside. If you're in America, I'm American, I live in America, so I'm talking about the, the American healthcare system, that in order to get these specialized tests, you actually have to go outside of your, your insurance, and these are out-of-pocket tests. But I'm gonna tell you this, you absolutely cannot understand how your system works, both energetically or biologically, without doing and utilizing these steps, these specialized tests that we as women have access to in this day and age. And I talk about these various tests in my webinar called Testing 101, Demystify Hormone Testing. So in this webinar, which I will leave the link below if you want to sign up and you can get the replay to the webinar, I'm going to, I'm going to be doing this webinar over and over again over the coming weeks and months. But this one was a unique one because I really branched out and talked about a lot more than I have in the past. I've run this webinar before. This webinar is, I think, essential to every woman who is nearing or over 40 and, and absolutely integral to women's health if you're near 50 or over 50. In talking about the female hormonal system, what I want ladies to under what I want you guys to understand is that there is our our bodies are made up of light, of you know, subatomic particles, of fluid, of tissue and organs and consciousness, and all of that cannot be summed up in a 10-minute visit. There is, so working with someone who understands the energy of the body, when I say energy, I don't mean like, do you wake up feeling rested and energized, although that's a part of it, but that's not what I actually mean when I say energy. What I mean when I say energy is I mean quite literally, what is the energetic makeup of your body? How is the energy of your, your consciousness, your vibrational frequency, how is that interacting with your organs, with your tissues, with your glands, with your, you know, the vascular system that you are with your consciousness? And we think we work within this realm in the various chakra systems of the body, which there are, there are many, but the, the main ones that I work in are the main seven, right? And these main seven chakras house the major organs and systems of the body. So understanding that the body is so much more than just, you know, adding, add, something is deficient, so we must add something. Something isn't working, so we must cut it out. Something isn't functioning or there's a particular symptom, we must numb the symptom. I think this is a great falsity of the medical system, and it's something that has established itself as we've become more technologically advanced, that the 
the the ancient practices of you know indigenous people of of humankind thousands and thousands of years ago was that we ate real food we spent a lot of time out in the sunlight we communed together as people we didn't separate ourselves and we certainly didn't talk into an electronic box like i am now and we learned together, we stayed together because with staying together within a group meant you stayed alive. And so there's an element of the modern lifestyle that is so depleting, especially to a woman's hormonal system. And what I, what I want to just, my intention of creating this episode today is to help kind of like open the conversation, sort of open the blinders to what we think of as women's health, what we think of as, you know, we have a symptom, we live with that symptom until we can't live with it anymore. And then we go see someone else and someone else tells us what's wrong with us. Someone else gives us a prescription or someone schedules some sort of procedure or something. And that couldn't be any farther from healthcare, I mean, it's the most ridiculous notion, if you really think about it, of how we should be caring for our bodies. We haven't had modern medicine for more than 200 years. And so to think that we've come this far, and of course we've prolonged you know, our lifespan, and of course there are positive things that have happened from it, but the main essence of women's health is not about numbing a symptom, squashing a system, or cutting an organ out to in hopes that it will help the system. I've had a lot of experience with this and this, this idea came at the very beginning of my first son's life when he was having a lot of various symptoms and we couldn't figure out what was going on. It was, it was impeding his breathing. And what was interesting was this series of many, many doctors were, were advising us to cut various parts of him out. And, you know, they were teeny tiny little parts because he was just a teeny tiny little human. He was only a couple years old. And I kept asking the same question and I kept getting the same answer. Can you tell me that if we do this, he will have a different quality of life? I cannot tell you that for 100%, but this is the procedure that we do for this issue. And I said, that's not good enough for me. And I've continued to say that to every doctor who's wanted me to cut something out, who's wanted me to take a pill for something to make something better, and to um, who's wanted to do something to my body that I didn't, that number one, I didn't understand, and number two, I didn't see the benefit. Because there's an intuitive side to us, there's a voice within us, there's our our soul layer of healing, because all the healing that we do within our body happens from within. The, the conditions outside of us, outside of our body, are either conducive to healing or detrimental to healing, prevent the healing, slow down the healing, make the healing impossible. And there's an element to modern medicine that takes the responsibility off of us as the responsible human, because this is our body, this is our vessel, we're living in this body. Nobody else can tell us what we're feeling because we are living in our bodies right now. Only we can know what it feels like to live within this body. And why is this important? Because can I tell you this is important because as you age, the responsibility to care for your body as the hormonal systems, it's a, it's a relationship that, that with the, as you get older, your responsibility internally is even more greater to you as the individual. You need less doctors you need less invasive procedures and you actually need more of the real natural stuff. You need more real food, cooked food in, as, in its most pure form and you need a variation of it. You need more light and more movement, more natural movement, movements that we would have made as prehistoric beings, right? As as, as we've evolved through time, we need that kind of movement in our life. We need less intense, crazy movement and more, more movements of, that are of the natural tendencies of lifting things, of moving things over somewhere, that kind of movement and less about the grind, right? And it's the same thing in food. I, I work with women all the time who have found their way to smoothies and ground up food. 
And the one thing I will tell women over and over time and time again is the less you grind the food, the more you chew your food, the slower your digestion is and is able to not only break down the food with, with enzymatic activity in the stomach and also acids, but the more you chew your food, the more you experience the food, the more the food slowly goes into the bloodstream as opposed to a liquid beverage. So a liquid, high calorie liquid be beverage or you know, lots and lots of fruits and vegetables that you couldn't even eat at one time, ground up very, very to a, to a pulp and drunk cold. Those are, this is, these are things that are very hard on the system, especially a woman's body. So in terms of working in the women's body and working in women's health, a lot of the things out there that are part of the health and wellness industry are actually doing harm, even though they look and seem like they are the way. And this is why when we do specialized testing, when we, when you work with somebody like me one-on-one, -on -one, you get the opportunity to be heard and understood. And these are two things that in my experience in the medical system are, we are absolutely not given the opportunity to be heard and to be understood as unique individual beings, because how our body functions, how our body processes hormones, how our body packages them up, how our body finds them, the hormones bound to proteins, and maybe you need an herb to, un to help the body unbind the hormones so that you can use them so they're more bio, bio available. That is what the female hormonal system needs. We need less medication and more sunlight, less medication and more real food, less medication and more targeted deep sleep, more targeted REM sleep, and more, more connecting with our circadian rhythm, our diurnal rhythms of the, the the light of the day and the darkness of the night. So this is what we need. We need more, more specific movement, not more medication in order to lower our blood pressure. We actually need to get out into nature and we need to experience the light hitting our eyes and syncing up and waking our body up to all the systems and things it needs to do during the day so that then we create the hormones so that we can have a restful sleep at night. These very simple practices, they seem so simple. They seem too simple. They seem impossible to be the way. And yet they are everything of the way. They are every aspect of the way. They are what every woman needs is the simplicity of each hour, of each day, of each week, of each month. This is the cycle. We are cyclical beings. And the more that we connect with our cycle, the cycle of life, the cycle of light, the cycle of wake and sleep, the more we can cycle and connect to the people in our lives. This stage of life, this 40 to 50, this is the most difficult stage for marriages, for partnerships. This is one of the most you know, difficult times for uh, raising children. We're watching our children you know, blossom into human beings, possibly even leave the house. We're watching our parents age. It's such a pivotal time in a woman's life, this particular decade that is, like I said, it's really basically an unraveling of what we've been conditioned to think and believe we are, what, what we're conditioned to believe and think that we're meant to do and who we're, how we're meant to function. It's this beautiful unraveling of getting to know your unique self what you desire, what kind of partner you desire, what kind of life you desire to lead, what your body gets to feel like. Because this time of life is not the curse of a woman's existence. It's actually the beginning of a magnificent existence if you choose to accept it. So in today's Harmony TV, this is going to be a short one, I wanted you to hear me talk about this stage of life, this decade of life that is really pivotal in a woman's life. It's not only pivotal for what comes next, but it's pivotal for understanding what's come to this point, who you've become at this moment, and how your body and your hormonal structure and the, your actual biology is unraveling right now and showing you what needs light, what needs work, what needs sun, what needs sleep and what needs rearranging. And so this unraveling is a really beautiful opportunity to work with this stage of life, 
work with this aspect of your body and getting the support you need, getting the support with your, you know, your external physical body, getting the internal support, whether it's, you know, mindset or life coaching or, you know, working with a health advisor like me or something, some getting your people together and understanding that in order to sort of figure out this unraveling to, in order to unravel the parts that need to be unraveled so that you can look into and sort of investigate those darker places so that the next stages of life can be this really incredible, beautiful um, sort of upper echelon of what you're creating in your life because this is the time of life that's magnificent. This is the time of wisdom. This is the time of creativity. This is the time of expansion and magnetism, but it comes with you deciding that that's what it gets to be. It comes with you deciding to work on the parts of your life, the relationships and the people within your life that need to be resolved, where there needs to be boundaries, what your standards are. This is the time of life to do this. So thank you so much. The uh, link to the webinar below for the sign up is below. I will put it in. Thank you. I'm going to edit out that little middle part where we went black for a few minutes. Thank you for sticking with me. As always, I appreciate you. And this Harmony TV is for you if you are near or over 40. We talk about all the things. All right. See you next week. Bye.